shift the car in reverse as he does the spin. Puts a lot of pressure on the driver and the machinery. He's coming in front of the grandstand, spinning the automobile around, backing down the track in reverse into position for his next spin. That transmission really being put through its paces by the stunt star from the motion picture Batman Forever. That's Tim Chitwood out there right now. Once again, he's making his way through the turn. Back into the front straightaway, in front of the reviewing stand. The Z28 Camaro spinning all the way around, shifting the car and backing into turn number one. You talk about control over an automobile. That's Tim Chitwood. Now he spins it into position so that he can head into the front straightaway in reverse. Putting that car through its paces. Tim Chipwood coming out of turn number one. Back into the front straightaway. He'll spin the car around, bring it back in front of the grandstand. Another 180 degree spin. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Tim Chipwood. Well, once again, we invite you to take a ride back with us through Thrill Show history as we present a feat of daring that was on the pass through the board wall. Once again, a tremendous impact out there, but it looks like neither one of our stunt men are none the worse for wear despite that fiery ordeal. Of course, Jeff reaches back into the car, making sure there's no flaming boards inside that vehicle. Ladies and gentlemen, from Norwich, Connecticut, there he is, Jeff Lattimore, and his driver, Wild Bill Dominic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, throughout our 1995 tour, we've been thrilling audiences from coast to coast for the Foxwoods Fire and Lightning Show. Tonight you're in for a real treat as we present the Foxwoods Resort and Casino Jet Powered Pickup. Now, this is a very unique vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. We have a Chevrolet engine in the front of the vehicle that actually turns the turbine on a Westinghouse J46 jet engine we have mounted in the back once that turbine begins to turn. That engine will produce over 6,000 horsepower. It will also consume 60 gallons of jet fuel in three minutes. Of course, that fuel is supplied by our friends at Sun Refining and Marketing of Providence, Rhode Island. Strapped into the cockpit of the vehicle from Dothan, Alabama, our pilot, his name is Chuck Fortson. He'll be in control as we present the Foxwoods Fire and Lightning Show. Of course, one of our fine sponsors, a new sponsor for us in 1995. We're very, very proud to have the opportunity to promote them throughout the United States. It's the Foxwoods Resort and Casino. And ladies and gentlemen, the spectacular show you're about to see, well, if you drive a few miles up the road, you'll see another spectacular show. Believe me, that's the Foxwoods Resort and Casino. Right now, Chuck Fortson has the turbine turning. Chuck Fortson about to thrill and amaze as we present the Foxwoods Fire and Lightning Show. At this point, Chuck Fortson is operating at about 25% of the capacity of the jet engine. When he makes his way out to the back straightaway, he'll be turning up the boost to 3,000 horsepower. An incredible pyrotechnic display by the Foxwoods Resort and Casino jet powered pickup. Now, as Chuck Fortson makes his way back into the front straightaway, he'll present what we call Burner Pops. And those folks along the front row will attest to the fact they are indeed Burner Pops. Really turning up the heat here this evening. Well, at this point, Chuck Fortson will do something no other jet pilot on Earth can do, and that is bring his jet vehicle in reverse. The culmination of over 12,000 man hours spent in design and construction, over $150,000 spent on the Foxwoods Jet Powered Pickup. At this point, Chuck Fortson is backing into position for a 6,000 horsepower blast off. Of course, we can't achieve the speeds we did when we set the world's record in Brooksville, Florida at 181 miles per hour. Well, we can show you what 6,000 horsepower looks like when unleashed 
by the world's fastest street legal pickup. Ladies and gentlemen, the Foxwoods Resort and Casino Jet Power Pickup. We're looking for the high sign, checking to see if all systems are go for a blast off. Chuck Fortson gives us a high sign. We're ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's fastest street legal pickup, the Foxwoods Resort and Casino Jet Power Pickup. Once again, it's my privilege, Chance. He gives us a high sign. How would you folks like to see those ramps go a little bit higher? How would you like to see Tim go a little bit faster? Yes, indeed, by raising the ramps and, of course, increasing the speed of the automobile, that will cause that automobile to be thrown towards its balancing point. Of course, Tim Chipwood really pushing the envelope here, performing this time-honored feat of daring. Once again, accelerating out of turn number four. He'll take ramp elevation, driver's side high. Cuts to the inside of the track, driver's side low. Beautifully performed, low skis. He's spinning the car back around, ladies and gentlemen. He'll be coming back in front of the grandstand area. He says, let's try this thing one more time. Tim Chipwood once again about to present a low skis, the predecessor to two wheel driving developed back in the 1940s by the original Auto Daredevils, led by Joey Chipwood, now the son of the world, famous founder of our show, over ramp elevation number one, cuts to the inside of the track, ramp elevation number two, balancing on the side walls of those Goodyear tires. You talk about control over an automobile, you're seeing it out here this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, here he is, the star of our show, Tim Chipwood. Tim Chipwood. He says, let's raise the ramps a little bit and show these folks some two-wheel driving. Now, back in 1961, the Chipwood organization came up with the idea of locking the rear end of an automobile and creating positive traction. Now, this allowed drivers to go great distances on two wheels tonight. You're about to see the acknowledged master of the fine art of driving an automobile on two wheels. His name is Tim Chipwood. He's out there behind the wheel of a Geo Tracker, ladies and gentlemen. Right off the showroom floor, in the hands of the star of our show. He'll be coming towards a single ramp elevation. He's on the ramp and up on two wheels as he makes his way. Wait a minute, what are you doing, Crash? Get off of that car. Now, I thought we broke up of that habit of chasing cars. Get off that car, bad dog. Now get over there on the side of the track. Somebody put him back on his leash or get a rolled up newspaper or something. We can't hit him jumping on top of cars. Poor old Tim says, I just about give up with old crash. Maybe the next time you ought to step in front of the automobile. Well, this time Tim Chipwood will show you the type of precision in which he can drive an automobile on two wheels as we have placed three stunt performers on the front straightaway. Tim will attempt to weave his way through the stunt performers on two wheels. Once again, up, up, and away, down the front straightaway, making his way around Burn Kyler from Rochester, New York. Cuts to the inside of the track. Delicate driving maneuvers around Mike Haberfoss from St. Petersburg, Florida, back to the top of the track around Matt Triplett from Woodstock, Virginia. Beautifully performed two-wheel driving. A aerial rocket car lead featuring Tim Chipwood, the world's number one ranked automobile stuntman. Now, this is a stunt developed by Tim's world-famous father, Joey Chitwood Sr., over 30 years ago. He actually designed and constructed the Chevrolet Aerial Rocket. He also went about the painstaking process of finding out how fast you have to drive an automobile to jump 65 feet through the air. This legacy handed down to the star of our show, Tim Chitwood. Now, Tim is no stranger to the racetracks of the world, ladies and gentlemen. He is currently the point leader in the National American Sedan Class of the Sports Car Club of America. He has already posted wins at Daytona, Sebring, and the Charlotte Motor Speedway. On the weekend of October 14th and 15th, Tim will be competing for the national championship. As I mentioned before, Tim has carried on a 20-year career before the cameras of Hollywood with his appearance in the motion picture Batman Forever. He is one of the lead stunt drivers in that film. He also worked with Sylvester Stallone in Assassins, a film that will be out next year. 
And of course, the Walker Texas Ranger television series. Tim was down in Galveston, Texas in May working on that particular television show. 20 years. His first film was the James Bond classic, Live and Let Die, and his resume includes some of the finest action motion pictures in the history of Hollywood. Well, right now, Tim is about to perform this very daring stunt. We saw him take a few preliminary passes inside this Chevrolet aerial rocket. Less than one half inch of clearance on either side of those ramps. 65 feet separates him from the receiving ramp. The world's number one ranked automobile stuntman making his way around the track, getting the speed necessary to jump 65 feet through the air. He's coming through the turns. The entry flare is lit. There's no turning back. Will he have the proper speed? We say, good luck. And may God ride with you, Tim Chipwood, the perfect performance of the Chevrolet Aero Rocket Car Leap. And in a show where all the stuntmen are superb, Tim Chipwood is spectacular. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the star of our show, Tim Chipwood. And there they are, the stunt stars of the Joey Chipwood Chevy Thunder Show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we once again want to remind you